Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 2nd of 2020. Well, it is titled biking to the moon. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image of the moon rising off in the distance here. And it is not quite a full moon. In fact, the full moon was just this yes, just yesterday. And that was what we would call the harvest moon or the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere. So here we see a moon that is not quite full. This was taken a few days before and we can see the biker silhouetted against it uh, up in the foreground. So uh, one of the questions is here, how long would it take to bike to the moon if you could travel by bicycle to, to the moon? Now, of course, that is not possible. There's no way to get to the moon on a bicycle, but we can consider what the distance would be. The moon is about 400,000 kilometers away. And if a typical biker, at least a Tour de France biker, can average about 40 kilometers per hour, that means you would be looking at taking about 10,000 hours to be able to get to the moon or a little over a year. So it would take if you could bike at a continual pace without any breaks, you could get to the moon in a little over the year of a year. Of course, you have no way to get off the surface of the Earth on a bicycle would not be able to achieve escape velocity from the Earth. But it does give you the concept of how far away the moon is. And we also consider that the moon is the closest celestial body to our own. So anything else would take many, many times longer. And in fact, if you were to try to consider the same thing for the sun, it would take an extremely long amount of time as the sun is many, many times further away than our moon is. Of course, we have been able to get to the moon a lot faster than that. And in fact, back in 1969, the Apollo 11 astronauts were able to get there in just a few days. So how fast you how fast you get there, of course, depends on how fast you can travel and the amount of energy that you are expending. So here we get to see the image of that rising moon off in the distance with the biker there. And it gives us a way to think about how far away the moon actually is and to try to put that into perspective by comparing it and thinking about how long it would take to ride a bicycle to the moon if somehow there were that long path taking us through from the Earth out to the moon. So that was our picture of the day for October the 2nd of 2020. It was titled Biking to the Moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.